What's up everybody, The Natural, back with another YouTube video, and we're doing some Clash Royale with Mr. Elmo here. Today we're doing some stereotypes, Clash Royale stereotypes, following up Brawl Stars stereotypes. You know them, you love them, this is Clash Royale stereotypes. Here we go with the first one. The here we go, the classic beatdown deck. Wow, it's one of my favorite types of decks to use, and honestly, it's pretty much the only deck type that I use for ladder pushing. I like using other deck types for 2v2s, but beatdown has always been my go-to for ladder. So, as you can see, we are starting off with a pretty conservative start. We got a Mega Minion doing a little bit of work taking out the wizard and now we have a lumberjack going to the tower gonna get a few hits down balloon ooh so close just a millimeter away from that tower and we're only gonna get some damage just from that bomb no big deal because we have a decent push on the right side let's see rage comes down inferno dragon taking out the musketeer inferno dragon's gonna get a few extra damage on that tower just enough to bring it to triple digits, which is a good start. There's two minutes left in regular time, so that's pretty good. I'd say we have enough time to do whatever we need to do right now. Let's see. Elmo is going to have his Sparky work away, taking out some things, but it will get shut down. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we've got a big push coming. we got to stop this. Oh, I should probably should have used Tornado there. We're going to get one hit two hit and there goes our left tower the good news though we have our mega minion and our night witch on the right side and there goes their tower taking a one to one tower draw and there's no lead right now the battle is looking pretty even i'd say we do have the advantage though i feel like we have the upper hand because we let that slip that was just a silly mistake on my part i should have kept that tornado but that's okay it's about to be party time Two times elixir, and we are about to melt them with the biggest push you've ever seen. All right, here we go. Golem, Sparky, Inferno Dragon, it's happening, plus a Night Witch. Sparky gets zapped. I don't know why, but hey, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, oh. So they have Inferno Tower for defense. I'm going to drop a poison on that. Let's get some good value on there. There we go. Sparky got off a shot. Oh, my goodness. Double Inferno defense. Not ideal but we'll make it work we'll make it work we got some raged up stuff over there mega minion on the tower as well as a barbarian wizard is going to be good for shutting down that i don't know even i don't even know what it was but wizard is still working away has not died yet and looks like a poison and fireball will finish off that tower ggs and that's a well played for elmo and i there is the beat down deck for you guys. Alrighty, this is the spell bait, and I know that I have kind of cut the video where we are actually already in the match, but nothing important has happened, so we should be alright. Personally, I do not use spell bait a lot for a ladder, I only use it for challenges like these and just 2v2s where. Sometimes it's just fun to practice with those different deck types because I need the practice with Spellbait. I seriously do. I'm honestly not a great Spellbait player, so some extra practice never hurts. All right, here we are with Elmo. We have gotten some, I mean, we're just trading blows. Nothing much really happened. Nothing much really happening. I'm trying to get a Goblin Barrel to their tower repetitively, repetitively. But it's not seemed to be doing great. It's not seemed to be working out quite the way we want it to. There goes a Goblin Barrel by Elmo. Let's see what it can do. Not much. It's going to get shut down by the Ice Wizard and the Skeletons. I'm going to see if we can get our Goblin Barrel here. Come on. Come on. Do some work. Oh, no. Fire Spirits are great counters. They shut that down pretty good. Oh, boy. Double Raged Wizards. Luckily, our Knight's going to shut that down. Log coming in. To, oh, the prediction. Skeleton army goes down. That's the way to do it, Elmo. Awesome log. And boom, Bandit gets the dash. Skeletons don't arrive in time to finish the job. 
But the bandit does get some good stuff here. Let's see. Ooh, two times elixir. We're going to get a clone on them goblins. Them goblins. Them goblins going to work in the wizards. The double wizards. Their tower is down to 200 health. That's an awesome sight to see. We're going to get a goblin barrel to the tower. What can they do? Oh, it looks like they're going to counter that with a barbarian barrel. That's a pretty good counter to a goblin barrel. All right, let's see. We got a wizard. A raged wizard. Hopefully we can shut that down before it does too much damage. Looking pretty good here. There's a skeleton army and a sparky they have as well. We need to make sure that does not lock onto our tower. Predictions at boom, there goes the goblin barrel. And our princess should get some value. Oh, yes, 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 skeleton. No, giant skeleton. That's what I was looking for. Giant skeleton is going to make sure that sparky doesn't ever live again. And the rocket is going to come in, taking out both towers on both sides for both players i i'm so confused right now i just confused myself anyway it's overtime and we gotta score before they do here we go ice whoa 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 what's happening in the middle okay whatever happened that we we all sort we sorted that out so we're good there we're good we do we don't have any damage to either of our towers which is great because we have a magic archer on theirs and that gives us positive damage there we go, a wizard, a princess, and we are looking good. 800 health left. I'm going to rocket that. I think we only need one or two more rockets. Oh, one more rocket. A nice log by Elmo. Elmo is on it with his logs today, my goodness. Okay, they're throwing out a desperate spark in the middle. Going to get shut down by swarms galore. And there, here comes another goblin barrel. I'm going to zap that again. Sorry, guys. And there will be a rocket to finish the job as soon as I can get the elixir. My goodness, an hour later. Here we go. Rockets down, towers down. Blow them some kisses. Great sportsmanship. And there we go. That is the spell bait deck for you guys. Hog cycle. Hog cycle. You know you love it. It's the hog cycle deck. And I honestly have just about as much experience with the hog cycle as I do the spell bait. Which, in case you didn't see that part, it's basically none. So, we're going to go ahead and try to do our best with the hog cycle. I know one thing, though. Get the hog to the tower. That's, that's all I know. So, that's all we're going to do. Alright. Elmo is pranking us a little bit. But that's okay, because we got him. And we're good to go. Fireball is going to get some massive value. Taking out those two things, those two troops. They're so they're, they're so dead that I don't even remember what they were. And a P.E.K.K.A. is down. Hmm. I don't know how P.E.K.K.A. is going to affect this battle. How about you guys comment below and let me know. Is P.E.K.K.A. a good counter to Hog Cycle? I'm genuinely curious because I have no idea. I've not played nearly enough Hog Cycles to know if P.E.K.K.A is a problem for these so let me know in the comments is pekka a good counter to hog cycle in your opinion uh, uh, <laughs> oh man in your opinion <laughs> we found the words we found them in your opinion all right so we took a tower which is awesome we do have some damage on both towers but we are looking pretty good we have a decent defense i need to i, I need to use my cannon i have a cannon for a reason just use it my goodness okay fireball is gonna go Take out that Magic Archer once again. Magic Archer not having a good day. He's He's been gotten fireballed. Oh my goodness. Let's try that again. He has gotten fireballed at least two times in this match. That's awesome. I love to see Magic Archers getting fireballed. Makes me happy. Okay. We're going to go try to defend this as best we can. Oh dear. We got a balloon heading our way in the ice. Wizard is working on our right tower. We got a balloon on the left. Bomb's going to drop down. Not going to connect with the tower, fortunately, or else that would not be good news. And here comes the Hog Rider charging in. The Magnificent Hog Rider gets to the tower along with the Bandit and the Gum Barrel. And the tower is down. That's how we do it. And, oh my gosh, how do we get... Oh, <laughs> Mega Knight is just jumping for joy over there. Not going to do anything. Ice Golem has the jukes. I'm not kidding. Ice Golem will juke your jock out. Okay. Mmm, Fireball. A juicy Fireball. Taking out all that swarm stuff, you saw nothing, Jon Snow. Ha <laughs> ha, no. Okay, uh, Sparky and Electro Wizard. Let's see, how are we going to defend this? I guess we'll throw down a log here. Ice Spirit, the one elixir. 
the best card in the game. No, I'm just kidding. We all know the best card in the game is Golem. Crickets chirping. Boom. I honestly was not even paying attention. Double Skelly for the win. Expo cycle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. What? Wait, hold up. What number comes after twenty-two? Ah, uh, yes, twenty-three. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Yes, that's the Expo cycle hitting the tower over and over and over again. So effective, so annoying, so awesome. This is the Expo cycle, and you may not have guessed it, but I have no idea how to use this either. So, let's go right into it. So, we have a strong push. Giant Skeleton doing some work, tanking for the Wizards. Wizards going to get a few shots on the tower. Unfortunately, not going to last that long. And a Lumberjack is uh, hopefully not going to take out our Magic Archer. And it looks like he will. That's okay. Because we have neutral Okay, well, there goes our uh, um, skeleton army. Anyway, we have an expo. Slap that down. Let's see it do some work. They're going to counter that. Ooh, good counters. Good counters. My goodness. They have come prepared for this battle. We got to make sure that Inferno Dragon does not get locked on and does not do. No, it's locked on. That's not good. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that's a tower. Okay, and that's a tower, too. That is the fun stuff. You always want to lose, tw uh, like, two towers in, like, the first, uh, I don't know, was it one minute? Okay. Well, maybe not the best start, but it's okay. We can make a comeback, I believe, in the power of Elmo and the Natural 3. All right, here we go. We got a giant skeleton that is currently striding toward the tower like it's a summer walk in, I don't know where, someplace cool, someplace awesome. And looks like he's not going to do much, but... We still have one tower down. We actually got a tower, which is good, because we're going to need that. All right, we're going to defend that graveyard magnificently. Uh, Y'all saw nothing. Okay, Bandit is down on the left. Going to hit the Ram Rider. I was going to say tower, but I saw the Ram Rider, so I went Ram Rider. Ram, 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 Ram Rider instead. We're going to shut down the Ram Rider. Expo is down for defense. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that Inferno Dragon so it cannot do any D, uh, D damage for damage on our Expo. We're going to rock it right here. Hopefully, we can get the Giant Skeleton to the tower. If we can, that would be great, but it looks like we're not going to. Unfortunately, uh, our bomb will take out the Inferno Dragon. A Lumberjack is going to come at us, and we are getting ooh not enough damage on that left Archer Tower. We've got 14 seconds left. We've got to do something. Oh, my goodness. It's a raged Royal Giant, the memeiest card in the game. And it looks like they're going to do a lot of damage. And will they take our tower? No, they will not. Ultra defense by us. Awesome. Yes, they are sad. I'm sorry. We couldn't give you that three crown. We couldn't. Off meta. Is it a burn? Is it a plane? It's the off meta, and we have a mortar meta, mortar off meta deck that I just randomly copied from TV Royale. It looks like a solid deck, and so I'm excited to play it. And uh, by now, you guys have totally not guessed it, but I have no experience playing with this deck, probably because I've never seen it in my life, which is perfect, which means we get to play with a new deck. All right, here we go. We are starting off with a mortar that died very quickly. That's okay. In the future, I know I now know how to get the mortar to the tower just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. It's like the percentages on you getting a legendary on your brawl boxes. You like, man, I want Leon. Man, I want Crow. Yeah, that that's the percentage that my knowledge just went up by, which is good because that's progress. All right, a mortar is coming down again. Bam, there it is. Elite Barbarians, Valkyrie, Rascals, Bats, the whole package. Mortar gets to the tower. Let's go. Elite Barbarians in the whole... Oh my gosh, we just recruited the whole army to go and assault that tower. And it, uh, it all got shut down by that minion horde. But that's okay. We still have a lot of damage on their tower. It's at 1, 1, 1, 1. How funny is that? Okay. Let's just see what happens. Electro Dragon. I have not seen a lot of those. Interesting, but 
not going to matter because we're going to take it out with our one spear goblin who's going to do some damage. And Elmo is still trolling us, which is awesome. That's what, that's what, yeah. But, you know, the thing is with Elmo, he is so swag that he can literally leave the match, come back 30 seconds later, and win the game. That's how swag Elmo is. Anyway, a lot of damage has just been applied to the right tower, and the right tower has disappeared like a magic trick from Penn and Teller. Okay, Rascals, Valkyrie, oh my goodness, where did that royal giant come from? We got a goblin gang that, we got a goblins that, and we got a goblin it up more. Ooh, Graveyard, Graveyard is going to be shut down and also going to activate our King Tower, which is perfect. Mortar is coming down again. Let the mortar fly. Whee! Boom. Okay, that was just really fun. I, I kind of... That, that's really fun. I, I like watching the mortar just attack the tower. It's pretty satisfying in my opinion. Anyway, Balloon is uh, coming quickly and dying quickly as well. We have a strong push. Rascals seem pretty good. I mean, they're a really, really balanced card. They have good offense, good defense, good everything. They've got air defense. They've got everything you need in an off-meta deck like this. We've got five seconds, and we are looking pretty good. Coming out with a 2-1 victory to finish off this video. Thank you so much for watching. Alright, I was just joking. This really isn't the end. This is the end of the video. And I just wanted to say, I have not been uploading videos in a while because of vacation. I also got a dental appliance applied to my mouth. Which means I had to take a little time to adjust my new speaking abilities and make sure they're not absolutely terrible and i don't think they are which is good but that's all for today's video hope you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later natural out